Brothers and sisters, as we just heard scripture readings on uh, God's word for crops, we just take a few moments to think about and to meditate upon what God's word says about uh, the crops and the agriculture, this good land that God has given us. Of course, in the very beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and he created all the plants and animals, and they were good. But then, of course, as time goes by, Adam and Eve fall into sin, and we see that this affects the very land that we live in. And, and even we read in Amos the rebellion and the sin of the people of God as they oppress the poor. It results in drought and famine. The brokenness of the land reflects the brokenness of our sin. But that is not the end, brothers and sisters, for we, we hear in Isaiah a promise from God for restoration, for streams in the desert and for water and for not only restoration of the land, but also together with it, restoration of those who are oppressed, <clears throat> released from the oppressors. This is so good. And as we move on into the New Testament, we see that Jesus comes in, in 1 Corinthians and, and in Hebrews. We know that the good thing, the conquering of sin and death and the corruption of this world has been done. And yet still we see, still we see that brokenness evident in this world. And that is true still today. It is the already not yet. God has conquered through Jesus Christ. God has conquered sin and death and all that is wrong in this world. And yet still the world is not as it will be. But it will come. And we see that in Romans chapter 11. We see God promising that, that he is who he is and this world will be restored. And so we pray for and long for that day, knowing full well that it will come. And in the meantime, in the meantime, we pray and we work the land and we care for it as God called us to. And we seek to do justice and righteousness in this world. To be a taste of heaven and the new earth here. Let us come to prayer for our crops.